Hey everybody, uh, sorry uh, we had to skip a week. Um, I have to actually travel out of town uh, for work, so that's why I didn't do a video because I really didn't do much. Um, so anyway, Colorado never disappoints. Um, as you can see it's, or maybe you can't, but it's snowing. Um, anyway, we've made good progress this weekend, so uh, let's uh, show you some of the details. Um, that we worked on. Okay, so as you know, we've been working on the interior quite a bit. Um, we uh, got the uh, gear shift back in, um, so that's all fit up nice. We've done the this piece here where we're working on the uh, uh, top cap for the windshield, and then my friend uh, Jason Connell came over yesterday. And uh, we worked on the uh, A-pillar. So we're working on the A-pillars there. We obviously have some fitting to do, but that turned out pretty nice. And it's fitting ever so lovely. Um, the other thing we did, uh, if you look back here, you can see um, this is actually going to be a little storage compartment here. So... This is uh, obviously seats. <laughs> a clamp or something in there, but we'll get to that. Uh, we're going to put the electronics uh, up here, uh, right behind the seats. Um, I think it's just going to be so much easier to access. Change things. Uh, I had it under the car. I don't know why, because uh, thinking on it now, I feel kind of stupid. Um, we're creating that storage compartment, so we're starting to, um, you know, kind of sheet metal in this back uh, window area. The actual Aventador stops right here as a wall um, and I think that there is a way to get back here to get some storage so we're gonna kind of make the same thing. Um, anybody who has one can let me know if that's the case because I didn't really check when we had ours around. So so that's kind of what we've been doing uh, metal work wise. Um, here's all of our our rat's nest of electrical that we're gonna reroute so that it'll all be on this nice bench. That's actually the uh, Holly Dominator ECU uh, that uh, runs the engine. So uh, we haven't stopped 3D printing, so let's go take a look at that. So we've been putting our uh, X-Max to use. Um, it's not printing right now because I've got some modeling I need to do, but uh, we're doing these which are the rear vents for the engine cover. Uh, these are done in ASA, so we'll probably sand, prime, and paint them, and they should stand up to the weather. Um, they're actually quite strong. This is the kind of the front piece, and all of this I modeled off of pictures I took from the, the real Aventador. So, um, so those are some of the things that we've been uh, doing. Um, let's show you some of the other 3D printed parts. So you may have seen these, these are the grills. So we've got um, the uh, front grill, or sorry, this is the rear grill. <laughs> the other one's upstairs on the car. Uh, we've got the front grills. These will go down where the air ducts come in for the uh, brakes. Um, we also finally finished the parts for our, um, for our, uh, uh, side mirror. So this one is the shell. Uh, we actually went ahead and what we did was we printed these parts. Um, let's see if I can find the other one. Oh, it's in here. So we've got uh, this piece right here, which you can see in red over here. Um, that uh, holds the motor, both motors. Uh, we have this here, which is the pivot uh, Gizzy, and then we have the one that fits inside of the shell here, um, and that comes out. So, um, ooh, there we go. Uh, so all of these are currently printed in ASA. Um, we're going to do a test fit and test function, and then I'll probably print these in uh, carbon fiber nylon um, or carbon fi fiber polycarbonate. The other thing we did was we uh, finished up one of the headlights, um, obviously it's not 
doesn't have its coat of paint or anything on it. But we've test all, tested all of its function. Uh, we've got a H1 uh, projection headlight in there. Uh, we ordered an LED uh, bulb for it, so hopefully that'll come in soon and we'll be able to try and test that out. Now, I also got some more parts from uh, Euro Spares. Um, I got these uh, gaskets for the doors. Um, these are used and they were relatively inexpensive, so uh, we went ahead and got those for the doors. And we've got a lot of work to do on the doors, so look for that in the coming weeks where we uh, get the doors, get the latches done, get the doors all squared up and, and uh, flush with the, the other body panels. The other thing we got was this. I've been looking for one of these. Uh, this is the light switch module. Um, so this will do a bunch of different functions. Uh, it's only got four pins, so I'm going to have to go in there and figure out what, um, how to hijack this so that we can use those switches. So um, anyway, that's, uh, that's uh, most of the 3D printing and parts. You can see we still have a lot of parts to put on the car. Um, so we will get busy doing that in the next uh, week or so. So yeah, so we've been uh, pretty busy uh, doing a lot of 3D printing and uh, metal work. The sheet metal work is actually quite fun. It's uh, really nice because you get kind of that uh, instant gratification once you put it on the uh, car. Now you see some of the parts where we've kind of tack welded things together. We're gonna, you know, carefully weld those with spot welds and then grind them all down and uh, then body work it so that it'll look nice. Uh, we want to try not to have to use, again, a ton of body filler because we're doing shoddy work. So we'll be doing a lot of steel work and, and uh, very fine uh, work on those joints. Uh, and we may cut them out and redo them. Uh, so I've done that before where it just got too Frankenstein on me and so I went back, cut it out, made a single sheet, then welded that back in. Um, so that's made what hap that may happen with uh, the sheet metal that you saw upstairs. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching again. Please subscribe if you haven't. Um, I should uh, point you to a, a friend of mine uh, that I met at the Aspen event. Uh, he goes by the handle of TJ Millionaire Mentor and he's got a great video on his YouTube site of the event that we did. So go ahead and watch that and I'll link it uh, in, uh, down in the description. So anyway, thanks again. Talk to you soon.